Hey guys, uh, Chris John the X here. Uh, first off, just <laughs> I mean, it's already weird that I'm not actually showing my chest hair because of this shirt. I kind of just want to wear it inside. Actually, I want I would like to wear it outside, but I don't want to stretch out the collar like I did all the others with everything. Anyway, MetroCon was fucking amazing. It really was fucking amazing. I had arguably the best time there. Um, before I actually get to that, I'm um, just going to let you guys know, there's... I have a new intro. Uh, it's going to be released along with the next video, which will be, at some point, it's going to be Sonic Adventure DX, just want to let you know about that. And, um... It is, uh... I'm going to credit him again in the video, but it's, um... Thank, it's been... Ugh, sorry, I'm all tongue twisted right now. It was made by a very good Facebook friend of mine. His YouTube channel is known as Feiku, I think it's pronounced. It's spelled F-E-I-K-U. I'm gonna try and remember to link it in the description below. If I don't, uh, just let me know if I forgot and I'll make sure to put it in uh, and all that. But as for Metrocon, it was fucking amazing. I ended up, I ended up dressing up as uh, the Undertaker, and interestingly enough, I was like the only, I was like the only one that cosplayed as a wrestler, which really made the day of a number of people actually like. Some people pointed at me, being like, oh, Undertaker. And I got, like, really happy to see that. And then there was, like, um, a few people that wanted a picture with me. Um, and I even took some pictures of my of uh, other people in their cosplay. Uh, I remember there was, like, one person that uh, clearly was visibly annoyed by me when I asked, like, technically once. I did bother her, like, about if she was playing Pokemon. But that's, I guess I can't do account as bothering her twice. So to that person, I am very... Very sorry for have bothering for have bothered. I'm very very sorry for having been bothering you, at that time. I don't know the right words for this. I'm very sorry to have bothered you at that time. Just know that your Wonder Woman cosplay was amazing, in all honesty. Uh, and uh, then uh, there was like I got a few things like I got some posters. I also got this shirt actually. Hey, so let me show the shirts first. The Chaos Gauntlet! <laughs> I can't do Eggman voice. I can't do the new Eggman voice. I also got a game that I actually wanted to review for a while now. TNA Impact, the video game. It might not be a while, because until a while, because um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, a friend of mine is like borrowing my 360. He's going to be returning it uh, in September because he's just waiting out the games with gold and wants to at least play those. So... I trust him. He's a very close friend of mine. Has been for years. I think about, I want to say over a decade now. So I trust him. And then there's like these posters that I got. By the way, these were like gotten thanks to my good friend Darky Zero, aka Hector. Uh, you all know him from my streams, and he's awesome. I got this one, Gamer Days, uh, with a special quote from each of them. Interestingly enough, the uh, Aaron's Aaron's quote is actually from. Uh, his time with JonTron, specifically Sonic 06. I'm sure you recognize it, right? Yeah, of course you do. And uh, let me just slip that back in. I'm not sure where if I want to stick this up yet or not. And and one from uh, for Ninja Sex Party, Danny and Ninja Brian. It was awesome, honestly. It really was. I feel like the frame rate's a little issue iffy here. That should be fine. But yeah, I. Wait, did he at least put his name on the... Is this the same one? Uh... Okay, you know, I don't know if they actually put their little artist signature on this. I don't know if... Will Woods, I'm guessing, is a name? Or Tyreen Carver? MuseTapStudios.com? I'm hoping that's the... I'm hoping that's the people who also made the other poster wanted to like try and credit them they like make really freaking good they make really freaking good art with this and I absolutely adore it and uh, I think that's everything in terms of physical stuff that I had uh, I even ended up getting to meet uh, YouTube celebrities Jonathan Young who I was introduced to by my friend Hector uh, Caleb Hiles who I was also introduced to by my friend Hector in terms of like l learning about their music I should say months ago I learned about their music thanks Hector uh, but also for whatever it fell but also for whatever reason I kept reading Caleb's last name as Hayes 
even though it was clearly Hiles, I have no idea why I thought it was Hayes. And also, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Rashad E.B., who I admittedly don't know too much about, but he does epic guitar stuff. Like, he is freaking awesome. And I got to meet them, and I got to gush, and I got to, like, blabber on. And to you three guys, I am so, so sorry for how much I blabbered on and even ended up, like, kind of promoting my stuff. I feel bad about it now that I kind of, like, nonchalantly talked about my YouTube like that. Um, well, not nonchalantly. I was still, like, talking really fast and, like, to the point that I was, like, spilling over my words. I guess you could say what my friend said. I was starstruck, and I'm... I hope you guys understand about how I felt. I am very sorry for about that, but thank you guys so much for like letting me meet you guys. Thank you for the picture and everything. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the thumbnail. Might be a picture from that. I really don't know. We'll see what happens. But despite all that, despite how awesome everything else was, oh, I even got to like meet a friend that I've been talking with on Instagram for years for the first time. Uh... It was a bit awkward, but she's pretty cool as well. She's pretty cool as well. She was cosplaying as, I think, she said, Maka from Soul Eater. Uh, if you guys like Soul Eater, that's something cool. Uh, but the one thing that really, really stood out, I mentioned before that uh, some people were, like, asking me for pictures and all that. I even got to, like, do, like, a sort of mock interview as The Undertaker. Uh, you know, something about him referring to WrestleMania 33. I'm sure you'll see it at some point once it's uploaded. I don't know. Um, I know I told on my Instagram, so I'll try to link it from there if I can. But um, the one thing that stood out above all that, the one thing that was the highlight of the entire day was that um, uh, someone like walked up to me and asked for a picture, but it was mostly because their little daughter wanted a picture with me, and I was just like, See, how do I put it? Apparently the little girl, I guess, was a big wrestling fan and was, like, really excited to see someone dressed up as The Undertaker, and she just, like, so politely asked for a picture, and I honestly couldn't say no. It was so adorable that I went with the picture. I did like The Undertaker pose that I was doing with the other pictures. I feel like I should have knelt down or, like, smiled or something. And then she thanked me for the picture and was like, oh, no problem. Just the fact that I managed to bring a smile to a little kid's face was just amazing. Like, I'm guessing this is why so many people, like, do cosplays because they inspire the younger generation. Like, so why so many people end up doing what they do as a wrestler, especially, because they inspire the younger generation. They inspire the little kids so much and, like, they make them happy. They make their day and that's just amazing. Honestly, thinking about that day, thinking about that Saturday, it was, it's crazy that this is going to get a bit uh, real, a bit kind of dark, but it's crazy that about three and a half years ago, I almost took my life. I almost thought that nothing was, go I, I thought that nothing was going to go my way. I thought that shit was just terrible. I thought that I wasn't going to. I thought shit wasn't going to get any better. I thought so much stuff. And to think, three and a half years later, I got to meet some amazing YouTube celebrities. I made people really happy with my cosplay. I made a little kid smile. Just, I'm so glad that I'm alive, guys. You have no idea. That was one of the best days I've had in ages. Even though the fact that I was on my feet all day resulted in like pains in my lower back to the point that with how long the line was to meet uh, Jonathan Young, Caleb Hiles, and Rashad E.B., I actually, when we finally got into the room, I actually had to lie down like in the corner uh, because I needed to rest my back. That's how bad my back was. And uh, I was almost, apparently I was almost like expedited in that um, I was told that I could like go cut ahead, but I wanted to like go there with my friend mostly because you know uh he was partially my ride as well as the fact that i would have gotten so nervous i already was nervous but i needed him by me to like give me uh like a boost in confidence and courage just to talk to him because just to put it lightly when i first saw batista nearby one day i almost fainted i was so starstruck i didn't say a thing but i almost fainted
that's that's pretty much how I get around certain people. I mean, granted, I've been a bit easier with like certain like wrestler celebrities. Like that one time I was at that indie event. The only time I was at an indie event at that. But yeah, and just I'm so glad that I'm alive, and I'm so glad that I didn't end up taking my life that day. I'm just I'm just so glad. Bonus points is that I didn't run into those people that uh, that ended up almost inadvertently almost causing me to end my life. Thank God. Uh, they basically like used to like go to me as far as I know they went to MetroCon just to, like pick up chicks or whatever. Um, but I'm guessing because uh, originally, if I'm not mistaken, you could go into MetroCon, you could browse around, like walk around, but you couldn't go into any of the special areas like those you had to actually have to pay to go into however nowadays i guess they changed that i guess maybe there was more people doing what they were doing so they decided to like make sure that you actually had to pay in order to get in which i think is a good rule honestly because it works out it like benefits more than uh it normally would for other people i think but yeah i've said it before but I feel like I'm a big example of the fact that no matter what you're going through, it gets better. I was at the lowest point of my life in 2014. I've had some scares uh, after that that were pretty bad, like um, worry of like being homeless or like worry of something with my dad. But it was never as bad as that time in like late 2014. Nothing was going right for me at that time, and again, I almost ended up taking my life, but thank God I didn't. Thank God that I fucking didn't. By the way, I know this is 12 minutes in already, but I'd like to apologize, like, on the chance that any of, like, the, I don't know, on the chance that the little kid is watching this, hopefully, like, now with their parents, um, I'll put this in the description as well, as well. I am very sorry for the swearing that I did in this video. I am so sorry. I hope that you understand I... I have a sailor mouth. I, I'm sorry, but I have a giant sailor mouth. And it is full of so many bad words. But trust me when I say that... I actually don't know where I was going with this. I'm just really sorry about the swearing in case you guys are... In case you are watching this. And little kid, uh, I don't know your name. I don't think I got your name, but... You were such a delight, and I was very happy to take the picture with you. And I don't know what you want to do when you grow up, but whatever it is, I know you'll be able to do the best you can and be one of the greatest. You gotta stay awesome. Stay awesome, little one. And, um... Yeah, just... Thank you guys. Just thank you everyone who subscribed to me, everyone who's like followed me on Facebook for the little self mean thing. Thank you for uh, everything basically. Thank you for just being there for me. Thank you for like helping me realize when I made a mistake. Thank you for being there to help me realize what was right and what was wrong and all that. Just thank you. That actually reminds me of something actually. Um, I feel like I want to bring this up, even though the video's gone on long enough. I feel like I want to bring this up because I feel it's important to bring up. Um, I want to talk about when I became open to LGBT rights. Because it wasn't so much that I was anti that at one point, but I was very... I'm not proud to say this. I, w I used to be homophobic. I am not happy with saying it, but it's the truth. I, I used to be homophobic, and I hate that I was that way, but it's ironic because, probably like most guys, I was into seeing the... I'm not going to get into it. Yeah, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But basically, uh, around the time that I started getting like... Well, let's just put it like this. When I was a bit younger more like young adult, younger adult than this, I was kind of perverse. I was a virgin, but that wasn't why I was perverse, but you know. So I ended up like 
I ended up like looking up like um, Yuri manga to essentially like give me some material to enjoy when I was at home because um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, because I didn't really have internet access at home, my dad wouldn't let me use a computer after an incident that I had with the laptop I used to have. Honestly, he was he was right because I was not mature enough at the time, even though I was like 19 years old. At the time of the laptop being destroyed, anyway, I was still immature for a while after that, but still. Um, but I ended up reading like Yuri manga that was mostly like it wasn't really Yuri manga; it was more like I think the term is shoujo I. It's basically like nothing and nothing perverse in it. It's just like. Uh, it's like a girl having a loving relationship with another girl and the development of that relationship throughout the manga. And I remember reading one and I was like, well, actually, I don't know what I was like. I just like, I wanted to read another. So I eventually read another and it got to the point where it kind of opened my eyes. Shonen Eye manga, Shoujo Eye manga opened my eyes about it. I don't really read the Shonen Eye manga, but I feel like there's probably some good ones out there. I guess just like seeing a good story of uh, two people that are wanting to be together just like helped me open my eyes about it. I just... Yeah. Um, I guess it also like prompted me into like being into romance novels, romance not manga, romance fan fiction even. That I don't know why. I guess it was like because for a while I felt so bitter about being single. I forget if I actually blamed myself or women. So it was literally like it's literally like opposite sides. I could I was either like bitter at myself or an incel, but I don't think I was an incel. I feel terrible just claiming that I think I was an incel but I guess what I'm trying to say is uh, I'm also kind of proof that uh, people can change for the better and interestingly enough it wasn't because of other outside people it was because I look at something on my own terms Although that isn't always going to be the working case, as far as I know. Anyway, this has gone on long enough. Um, yeah. Excuse me. Sorry, uh, burp. I want to try and get back to playing Sonic Mania. I've been doing that for, like, hours now. I found a newfound appreciation for the Blue Sphere stages. Not so much of an appreciation, but I'm going to try my best to, like, at least also cover it, but... You know, like, for the video that I'm planning after, like, the next two... Anyway, or next... Multiple videos. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching this. You are all amazing people, and no matter what you're going through, it gets better. No matter what you're going through at home, at school, at work, or whatever, it will get better. I have faith that it will get better, and I love each and every one of you. Okay? Okay, big hug. Big hug. Mm, that's that's a big dog. Oh, I oh I I got the webcam all out of focus. There we go. <laughs> See you guys around.